to the third Romania vlog. So today me and Chloe are heading to the Dracula's castle for like a full day trip. It's gonna be super exciting. Um, I'm wearing this extremely short dress um, from Miss Guided. I absolutely love it because it's got those like little mesh details on the sleeves and it's got this sort of like very faint polka dot print and I just really like it but it is very short so um, if the wind blows, everyone's going to be able to see my ass. So I have brought a change of clothes with me. We're all packed up and we're just about to leave. So yeah, see you when we're on our way to the Dracula's castle. Turns out I won't be wearing this dress because look, it's completely broken at the back. The entire zip has decided to come loose. So wonderful. Thank you very much, Misguided. I will definitely be sending a email um, on the way yeah. to Dracula's castle. So I'm just wearing what I wore yesterday, just this skirt and, but I'm wearing it with trainers. I think it looks quite cool and I just want to be comfy to be honest. just arrived at our first stop which is Hele Castle is that correct yep. <laughs> I think that's how you, we pronounce it um, it's absolutely stunning as you can see from behind me but obviously there'll be loads of other shops that I'm gonna take in a second just arrived we've got 40 minutes of free time before um, we queue up and are allowed inside however we found out that you have to pay for photography in there so we've decided to be sneaky and we've just paid one so Chloe can get all the footage so hopefully we'll get lots of um cool shots of inside the castle too but yeah it took us about two and a half hours probably two hours yeah, we stopped quite a few times yeah people yeah it took us about two hours to get here but it's definitely worth it just for this So you have to put on these rather fetching shoe coverings, which I think are just really adding to mine and Charlotte's outfit, if you ask me. <laughs> Bringing us some colour. This painting was actually painted by a Flemish artist who has got no arms, so he painted it with his feet, which I just find absolutely fascinating. Like I couldn't paint that with my hands, let alone with my feet.
And this room is the theatre and cinema that they had built into the palace. Right, so we have now finished at the castle. I hope you enjoy the footage that I got and fingers crossed the voiceovers of me remembering facts to take from Chloe's clips. But we've just arrived in Brashoff, which is just a little place um, in Romania, which is where sort of where the next castle is that we're going to, which is also known as Dracula's Castle slash Brand Castle. We're currently in the city square for an hour, an hour and a half as a little break. We're just about to grab some Romanian food. I'm just hoping that there's some other options because I'm not a massive fan of pork. You go and can't without remorse, without heart. Right, so our food has just come. I've been boring as fuck because I'm so fussy, but Chloe has this really cool Romanian special dish. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> we have no idea. We're literally just staring at it. I'm assuming there's pork there. Yeah, there's pork and, and then pork. potatoes. Hmm. And a know. really fancy little yeah, squiggle around the side. <laughs> so hopefully, it tastes nice. <laughs> so we're just heading over here to the Black Church. Um, but I just wanted to sort of do a little pan of how cute this little city square is. It's got loads of like pastel coloured buildings. Everything just looks so pretty. There's this church here as well. No, not church, sorry, it's a museum. Get the ice cream. Right, <laughs> that's where we'll be heading. <laughs> yeah, we've been seeing these Kinder ice cream um, sort of billboards everywhere, so we really wanted to try one before we headed back to the UK. Right, I think we're going to go head over to this stool to grab some ice cream before heading back to our tour bus. So I've just decided to go for the Kinder Bueno, so is Chloe, she's just getting that Instagram shot. <laughs> um, but look how cute it is, it's one of those little, I know we have like pan and ice in the UK, but it, this is like a this was like a Thai brand in this like tiny little stool over here but yeah I'm really excited to try it out it looks gorgeous <laughs> Wonderful. Anyway, we're in Brand Castle. Um, it's super exciting. We've just had a little talk and now we're free to roam around for the rest of the time. Yeah. So cool. The chest looks interesting. I feel like I want it, like at the end of my bed. Yeah. <laughs> but we keep throwing in it. <laughs> <laughs> so just heading up. Oh, it's um, to carve it. Yeah. So you only carve the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We made it. Oh God! Make sure to duck your head here. <laughs> wow. <That's> really, <laughs> really short. <laughs> a lot more room up here. Apparently, there's about 600 tourists per hour coming into this building, which is crazy. So, as you can imagine, it's super busy. <laughs> We found out that this room up in the attic is the music room. I do love, I do weirdly like wooden beams on the ceiling. So this area was built in 1922 after the entire building had been made and it overlooks the inner courtyard, which is so cute. And look at that view. I didn't realise there was an actual bell there. Yeah, no, it didn't look like that. No. <laughs> Whoa. 
So we're just on the terrace and look how incredible this view is. I love like all the greenery with just like the little um, pops of colour from the houses. Oh, it's so cute. So this is the view on the other side of the castle. There's this like beautiful lake down here and then loads of gorgeous houses. So we're now in King Ferdinand's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> the crown is stunning. My camera's playing up again, but I think we heard someone behind us say that there was 47 rooms. I believe that's what she said. 47 rooms and four floors, I think so. Yeah, I think we had four floors. Yeah. So, got the dining room right next to the bedroom. Delightful. Just so you can go for your little nap after the yeah, cute yeah, baby's been, been made. Nap. Works well. <laughs> So that is the massive walkway up to the castle. It's like a real, it's quite steep, the slope. So um, luckily we had to walk up and not down because we have to meet our tour guide again in the next, I think, tw we've got about 20 minutes until we have to meet the tour bus again and our tour guide before we're heading home. It's like a long three hour journey. So we're gonna have to be prepared. Um, me and Chloe are just about to take some photos because Chloe brought her Dracula book and we thought it would look so sick in front of the castle. I'll explain a lot more about um, the whole Dracula situation later because this isn't actually Dracula's castle. It's a common misconception. So I will explain later in case anyone's interested. So we found that the best view is like to the right of the lake if you're looking towards the castle in case anyone's wondering where the best picture spot is. We'd say it's definitely here like just by this hill I guess just by this little hut is probably the best area because basically there's tons of trees that get in the way and this way you can get like the entire castle in the background which is so cool and um, Chloe's just let me borrow her book and we've just had photos of the book because we thought it would look so cool <laughs> No, I think if I just see something, I'll just grab it. I quite like a postcard for my scrapbook, so I might yeah, grab one of those. Good, yeah. But I'll probably get something else, not just that. Right, so we are now back at our hotel. As you can see, I'm very sweaty from climbing the stairs. <laughs> it was a long journey back. <laughs> it took us about three hours like just over so as you can imagine it was quite tiring and um, there was some weird situation <laughs> as we got to the stop off points um, to drop people off at their hotels everyone was like clapping as people left and granted we met some lovely people today there was some nice northern Irish people some nice American people where were they from again uh, Kentucky and <laughs> Yeah, some, some, oh, Indiana, I think it was. That was it. Indiana, yeah, they were really nice. Just, it's nice to chat to people on like tours rather than it be all like awkward and weird and um, with everyone there. So, yeah, people were nice, but it was kind of weird how everyone was like clapping as people left the coach. I mean, me and Chloe cringed when <laughs> everyone clapped when the plane landed in Romania, but yeah, we didn't realize so many people did that. I didn't anyway. I thought it was a myth. <laughs> I haven't really heard anyone clap on a flight apart from one time when I landed in Dublin. But yeah, we're just about to go to bed because we've had a super long day. I think we've been out for like 15 hours, maybe. Yeah, yeah probably about 15 hours now. 
so we're very tired i'm just about to take my makeup off and go to bed thank you very much for watching another romania vlog this is the last full day tomorrow we are going home sadly and um, but hopefully we'll fit in a couple more things in tomorrow morning before we head to the airport so yeah stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog and i will see you soon bye